All right, this is Dave Serfozo, and this is Unorthodox Special Effects. I'm working in my slippers and my pajamas, because I only have one day off a week, and I'm trying to relax, but multitask. I'm working with Elvex uh, resin. It's made by DuPont. Never worked with it before. And, uh, oh man, uh, this is mold of Jeff Hatrix's head kind of makes him look like a superhero right now and as I said in the last video if he doesn't like what I do or even use it I can use it for my own stuff so I always try to plan ahead uh, have three at least three different futures and make them all good so if one doesn't work out you can fall back on another on the other I should say so uh, here's my little tool I got yesterday it was real cheap it was only two dollars and fifty cents so I'm gonna try to make this uniform with texture so then I could put a base of glue on it so then other things can be glued to it because I don't think this material really has uh, the composition to or the chemical compounds to like have things glued to it so I'm gonna try to get past that so unorthodox special effects because I can I'm not going to spend a lot of money on stuff like this so I am going to improvise it's what I do safety goggles make sure you got your safety goggles on first put on your safety glasses and have fun with life Close your mouth! <laughs> ah, this is gonna be funny. <laughs> I'm basically sculpting this to make it even and give it a texture to where then after I clean it, I can apply a glue, both inner and outer, and in a sense seal it, even though this doesn't need to be sealed, but make it so things can be added to it and glued onto it. Um, that's it. I knew I bought these goofy things the other day for a reason. Ugh. Oh, that's so much better. You gotta watch your arms with looking at this. Not right. I think I know what I'm doing. This is a very strange position to have Jeff Hatrix's head in. Yesterday, 
yesterday I was at work and I was thinking about this, like, because I never worked with this type of material. And uh, a thought came into my head, like, oh, I'll just get sandpaper and I'll sandpaper it down. <laughs> there would have been no way. I got this wire brush. This is awesome. Ooh, like I said in my last video, after I make this uh, uniform, um, it's it's flexible uh, to where I'll sculpt over it and then glue the mask on top of it. And this will have straps to hold, in a sense, the foundation. And um... All right, so now what I'm gonna do is this is good enough for me. I'm going to take this off. I'm going to trim it and then coat it with a certain type of glue that I enjoy. And then after that, it's going to have to take a day or two to, uh, for the glue to set. The reason this is coming off so difficult is because it's sticking to the mold of the head which is fine because after that after it does come off it's flexible and uh, see it moves go on the head I'm thinking in my head as I'm trying to talk it's kind of funny um, I'm going to trim this but then it could slip on the head and then be adjusted for the tightness. And then the mask will, like I said, will be glued onto it. But it also will have something different I've never done before. Is a chin that could, in a sense, flip up and down. I want the mask to be realistic. But if he does use this, um, to be able to also sing. Um, but I'll repeat a million times. If he doesn't use this or doesn't like it, I can use this for my own projects. So uh, I mentioned this earlier. When it comes to future or your future, try to think of at least three different futures. So if one doesn't work, you could fall back onto the other and still be happy. Um, this just happened earlier. My brother called, and I'm buying a house for my mom and my sister to to live in. And if they don't pay for it or can't can't do stuff, the worst case scenario is I'll have a home that I can actually move this shop into and have a real place to work, my own place in a sense. Even though this is kind of my place, um, it's just just it's not sufficient enough. But I make the best of it. All right.